Recent viewer question was, should I live stream with OBS Studio or Restream Studio? And the answer is yes. Bro. What's up, man? No, you can't just say OBS Studio is for everyone or even as great as Restream Studio is, that really necessarily isn't for everyone. Want to know more? Then stay tuned. What's up? It's Dale here at Live Streaming Tech. And of course, we're going to be talking about should you live stream over to Restream Studio or OBS Studio. But full disclosure, before we do jump into things, we want to, of course, give a big shout out to our exclusive sponsors of this video, who so happens to be Restream.io. You want to take a look at their free and premium services for streaming video. Go on over to Live Streaming Tech dot com slash restream and get your account set up today should you live stream with obs studio or restream studio well dale and i kind of compiled a list together and it's made up with four components or four factors and that is time resources skill set and patience let's go over the first one and that is time OBS Studio, there's a lot to take into consideration. First off, it's really not true plug and play quite yet. Now, it's better than what it used to be, but there's still quite a lot to learn within the program. So when it comes to time, you're really gonna have to spend a lot of your leisure or free time learning to use OBS Studio properly before streaming. When it comes to time, Restream Studio is probably the most efficient thing you can use for live streaming video. and really it's very little setup time whatsoever outside of just setting up the channel destinations and just uploading maybe some graphics and that's even optional you're pretty much ready to rock and roll as soon as you have those destinations done so it's dead simple with restream studio resources now thing is is obs studio has gotten better with using a ton of resources but the problem is is they've added a lot more bells and whistles to it to where you kind of want to use more resources so take this in consideration such as hardware the actual software itself that you have to download um, and the internet speed you definitely you're going to need a strong internet connection to be able to live stream to most of the live streaming platforms now when we're talking about hardware what i'm talking about is obviously if you're a gamer or you have a higher or mid-level to a high-end pc you should be good to go when it comes to obs studio now if you have say like an older PC or you're running a very weak laptop or you're using Wi-Fi or very weak internet speed, then OBS Studio might not be for you. As far as resources go with Restream Studio, it is again, stripped down. You don't need very much hardware. All you need is an internet browser and uh, some decent internet speed. So that means that you need to have at least a camera, a microphone and a browser that's it and even your internet speed can be somewhat forgivable in fact good friend here of the channel Keith Wheeler books actually used restream studio on an upload speed that was less than one megabyte per second and was still successful in streaming through restream studio number three skill set OBS studio kind of ties into what we've talked about before and when I really like when people have used other streaming software, such as like XSplit or Streamlabs OBS, and they transition to OBS Studio, it then becomes very intuitive. Like they can go, oh, I kind of remember that over on XSplit, or I kind of remember that over on Streamlabs OBS. Now, true, it, you have a lot more control when it comes to OBS Studio versus like say Streamlabs OBS or XSplit. Um, but it's that, uh, you know, prior knowledge to what every little thing does within it. And it's really great for gamers, too. If you're a PC gamer, you're going to find that even if you haven't used uh, streaming software, that it's going to be kind of intuitive because you've downloaded games, you've installed them, you've probably added mods before, that kind of stuff. So then as you start to use OBS Studio, uh, everything's going to kind of seem to fall into place and it's just a quick Google search uh, when you kind of run into a hiccup here and there. Um, also take into consideration OBS Studio just isn't for gamers. For instance, my brother Dale, when he first started streaming, doing his live interviews, uh, reactionary videos and um, just podcast style or informative videos, 
he used OBS Studio. Not only did he use it for his live streams, but he also used it as his base recording software. So as far as skill set goes, Restream Studio is perfect for anybody that's new to live streaming and you know they just want the easiest and best first step so they just can finally get out there into the online ethos. However, it's good to note that this is good for live chatting and uh, you know talking head videos. Things like this per se are the best for that. If you're a gamer, not so much. Restream Studio is not built for gaming per se. Not to say though that Restream itself can't be integrated with OBS Studio and utilized that way. Number four, patience. This once again kind of ties everything. It's kind of trickling down. And because the fact that you have to, uh, the, the time that it takes to learn the program, the uh, knowing the fact that you have to have uh, certain specs or whatever to use it, a better internet speed, uh, skill sets, all that kind of come in there. There's a steep learning curve when it comes to using OBS Studio for the first time. And that is because uh, you're gonna have to learn how to set up scenes. You're gonna have to learn to set up all your different resources. You're gonna have to learn the settings and kind of what they do. Even though we do a lot of tutorial videos here on live streaming tech, we really haven't dove really too deep into what each setting does and why it does it. Uh, we just kind of show you here, this is how you kind of set it up to go live on Facebook or go live on Twitch. So it's really not plug and play. You really got to kind of learn these. And then filters, um, those are my favorite. And really you can spend hours playing with the filters. And while I might have a certain setting on one of my filters, uh, it might not be the same for you and that's due to lighting or the microphone that I use or just even my voice uh, style, you know, maybe I have a little bit more bass in my voice or not as much bass in my voice. That obviously is going to affect the filters differently uh, in any kind of ambient background, you know, when you go into audio filters and whatnot. So uh, once again, there's a lot of patience involved when it comes to learning how to use OBS Studio. When it comes to patience, Restream Studio, you really don't have to have very much patience whatsoever. And you know, it's it is dead simple in getting started up. It is almost plug and play. Again, I've mentioned this before that all you have to do is set up the channel destinations wherever it's going to say YouTube, to Twitch, to Periscope, to Facebook, it doesn't matter. After that, all you gotta do is just hit go live in Restream Studio and you're ready to rock and roll. Speaking of streaming, uh, you might want to check out this video right here where I talk about how to stream live on Facebook using OBS Studio. That's right. Definitely check it out. And hey, if you want to learn the best ways to live stream to places like YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and beyond with Restream Studio, believe it or not, in this very next video right here, we're going to be able to show you exactly how to do that. I'll see you in this video. This one.